morning. Um, can we get this first row here to step back? We need one big step back. What, a little, a bigger one. Okay, thank you. Good afternoon, rainy afternoon. <laughs> she said good afternoon, come on. There we go. You know who's in charge. Uh, are we excited to welcome our first female mayor in nearly 100 years? <laughs> Thank you all for joining us today here at the Ethiopian community in Seattle. My name is Meron Kasahun and I'm the executive director here. Um, I would also like to thank this Jan Drogo, former council member, Valerie Golovorodko, honorary consul of Ukraine, Charles Royer, former mayor, yeah. <laughs> Reuven Car Carlisle, state senator, and David Della, former council member. Our mission here at the Ethiopian community in Seattle is to help provide a seamless integration of all persons of Ethiopian origin into this great city. We work to contribute to the social, cultural, and civic life of the Puget Sound and help give Ethiopian Americans in Seattle the opportunity to preserve our cultural heritage. Many of the people that come here are immigrants or refugees who need help as they integrate into life in Seattle, like accessing housing, or legal services. For decades, Mayor-elect Durkin has shown she is committed to understanding the challenges facing Seattle's <laughs> most diverse communities. And in her campaign, she's worked to help find solutions to many tough challenges facing Seattle. Over the course of many visits to South Seattle, debates, forums, and community roundtables, she came here, and most importantly, she listened. And long before she chose to run for public office, our mayor-elect has been a strong advocate for civil rights. It was our mayor-elect who helped secure the first federal order blocking Trump's travel ban. <laughs> so we are honored to be hosting our mayor-elect today along with all of you, and to have the honor of calling her Madam Mayor very shortly. <laughs> now it is my honor to introduce our current mayor, Tim Burgess. Thank you very much. I think it's time to uh, have another mayor this year, don't you? <laughs> we, we, just one more, that's right. <laughs> we are here to witness the oath of office being given to the 56th mayor of Seattle. And I am delighted that the citizens of Seattle chose Jenny Durkin. She, she has the life experiences and skills to be a great mayor. She ran for mayor because she knew 
that she could bring the people together to get good things done for all of the people of Seattle, from here in Rainier Beach to Ballard, from Lake City to West Seattle, and every neighborhood in between. She will be an outstanding mayor for our city. And so let's get to the business of this gathering. It is my honor to introduce Federal District Court Judge Richard Jones, a, C a Seattle native who will administer the oath to mayor-elect and soon mayor-to-be, Jenny Durkin. Judge Jones. First of all, it's my deep honor to have been chosen of all the other judges in our community to administer the oath. And so for that, I begin by saying thank you, almost Mayor Durkin. <laughs> So I've been given just a brief amount of time to give some brief introductory remarks. And I begin by saying, on January 8, 2008, the following were the introductory remarks to history in the making. You know they said this day would never come. They said our sights were set too high on this January night at this defining time and President Obama went on to claim victory following the Iowa caucus. I suspect at the beginning of Jenny Durkin's race to become mayor, similar thoughts may have been echoed by just a few. But Seattle spoke loud and clear that no, Jenny Durkin, you did not set your sights too high. And yes, your day has finally come to be our mayor. I reference President Obama's remarks because just like history will prove President Obama to be one of the great presidents, so too will Jenny Durkin prove to be the hallmark of greatness as mayor for the city of Seattle. I have known Jenny Durkin for years. I know her character and have seen her take on enormous challenges, always with dignity, clear vision, and passion for others. Please know that she comes to the office of mayor well equipped to face the challenges of this city that sit on her doorstep on her very first day of office. The thing I cherish most about our new mayor is her deep commitment and dedication to her family. Trust me, I know public office is demanding. So I'd like to say in advance, thank you to her spouse, Thank you to her family, thank you to her son for the challenges that you will face in terms of having to share your mother with this dear city. So before I administer the formal oath, I will tell all of you, get ready Seattle because you're about to see excellence in operation. I adopt excellence as being defined as an individual who cares more than others think is wise, who is willing to risk more than others may think safe, one who has the capacity to dream more than others think practical, and one who expects more than others think is possible. I now ask that our about to become new mayor to please step forward as I administer the oath. Please repeat after me. I, Jenny A. Durkin. I, Jenny A. Durkin. Swear that I possess. Swear that I possess. All the qualifications. All the qualifications. Prescribed in the Seattle City Charter. Prescribed in the Seattle City Charter. And the Seattle Municipal Code. And the Seattle Municipal Code. For the position of mayor. For the position of mayor. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. The Constitution of the State of Washington. The Constitution of the State of Washington. And the Charter and Ordinances. And the Charter and Ordinances. Of the City of Seattle. Of the City of Seattle. 
and that I will faithfully conduct myself and that I will faithfully conduct myself as mayor as mayor for the city of Seattle for the city of Seattle <laughs> Hello, Seattle. There we go. Thank you. Thank you first to the Ethiopian Community Center for having us here today. I was able to be in this hall many times in the last six months. And the last time I was here, I promised some of the folks, including the folks running the coffee shop, I'd be back. They just didn't know it'd be in the first five minutes. I am so honored and I am so proud to be able to serve the people of the city of Seattle. In case you missed it in the last six months, I love this city. <laughs> and I am here in Rainier Beach because I wanted to break tradition. I wanted to show that what I said in the campaign, I really meant. We will be a government and I will be a mayor, not of City Hall, but of the people. We will make sure that we listen to your ideas, to your concerns, and to your hopes and dreams. So today is my first day of mayor. I will be crisscrossing this city and in every community over the next four years and a little bit. I will be listening to you. I will be hearing you. I will be learning from you, and I will be accountable to you. And let me say to people who may not be in this room who hear it later, whether you voted for me or not, I am your mayor, and I will fight for you as hard as I fight for everyone else in this city. I believe we can come together to build a more progressive, inclusive, and united Seattle that is for the next generation as much as we had for our generation. And I want to acknowledge a person who's here today who introduced me, my good, good friend, Mayor, former Mayor Tim Burgess. <laughs> I want to thank you, Tim for your service to our city, not just in these last months where your firm hand was so important, but for all these years that you have given to our city. Thank you very much. Thank you to your family. And you're not quite done. We're going to find something else. <laughs> you know, it's been almost 92 years since we had a woman mayor. And the last one sworn in was Bertha Landis, as we know. Now, she said something in her years as mayor that stuck with me. She said her job was to make Seattle a larger home. She thought of it as a home. And that's what we have to do. We have to make sure that our city is a place where everyone has a home, a place where people are united and engage in dialogue with one another, a city where every person every person, regardless of their race, their gender, their faith, or their economic status, has a place here, that they know they have a home here, and we will fight to protect that.
Now, we've done a lot over the last 92 years to build that kind of vibrant, innovative, and global city. But too many people in our city are in pain, and there's too many of our brothers and sisters who are on the streets. As we are seeing our city literally rebuilt, we have a call, a call and a duty, to rebuild Seattle for the generations to come. For all of those who are being priced and pushed out of this city, we will make a place for you. The crisis of affordability really is threatening the future and soul of this city. Too many of our neighbors are experiencing homelessness and pain. Our growth, we know it, we feel it every day, has outpaced our transportation system and our infrastructure. There are no easy solutions to any of these problems. Many of them were years in the making. If there were easy solutions, Seattle probably would not have elected a woman mayor again. <laughs> but our city has an indomitable spirit. We are not just up to these challenges, we will also seize the opportunities we will continue to invent the future. We are that city that not just survived a great fire, we rebuilt and we got better. We were the jumping off point for the gold rush. We have always been that city that gets things done. We are the city of the future. Al Gore thinks he invented the internet. <laughs> we put it to work. <laughs> We pretty much invented or reinvented air travel. First the airplane, and then how to book it online. <laughs> Customer service started in Nordstrom's. Yeah. Coffee, software, the personal computer revolution, online shopping, the cloud, and yes, right here in Seattle, the 499 roast chicken. <laughs> So now, though, we must invent a new future. We have to show not just our region, but our nation, that the most enduring, the most successful generation is that society that is built on our progressive ideals of inclusiveness, justice, and true opportunity. Our mission must be to make good on what Bertha Landis said, to make Seattle that larger home for all. So while I travel the city today, I leave here, I go to West Seattle, then I come back to Chinatown International District, and then I'm in Finney Ridge, and then I end up in Lake City Way. While each of these stops has its own unique flavor, character, and people, we must remember in every part of the city, we are one city. We must remember our common bonds and our common purpose are so much more powerful than our challenges and our differences. And as mayor, that will be my goal, to pull us together, to remember those common bonds, and to forge those common purposes together to face those challenges. Today, I know we can attack the problems of affordability. We can make sure that Seattle is a place that honors everybody and their tradition and their background. We will affirm our commitment to race and social justice and we will make sure that we care for our poorest and most economically disadvantaged brothers and sisters who have no home except for streets, temps, and vehicles. And it, through it all, we will also remember, we will deliver basic services. We will fix those potholes. We will clear the roads of snow. Remember that, my friends. <laughs> First snowflake, we're done. Um, during my campaign, I told you we needed urgent action, and you will see this week that I will be signing a number of executive orders to start exert action on things that we said are so important, to tackle affordability, to make sure that people have, have the access to, to education, including two years free tuition for every Seattle public school <laughs> graduate. And as I said, I will be affirming our commitment, not just to the current, but to strengthening Seattle's race and social justice initiative.
Now, our challenges don't just come from in Seattle. We know that building this more just and equitable society means that sometimes we will have differences with our president. Let me say this. The people of the Seattle and this mayor of Seattle will not be bullied and we will not be told what to do. We're not spoiling for a fight, but we will not back down from what we know is right. And let me tell you some of the things we believe in. We believe in science. <laughs> we believe in justice for all. For all. We believe that our city, our state, our country is best when we stand together, not when we seek to divide. And we believe, no, we know, we are not going to let anybody stand in the way of our progressive future. So through the campaign, I ask all of you to share your thoughts, your concerns, your hopes, your dreams. I want you to keep doing that when I'm mayor. I will be out talking to you. I will have access to you. I want you to tell me what you need from me and from your city, what you need, what your family needs, what your community needs. Please, we need to hear from you because we serve you. We also have big, big dreams for what we think this city can accomplish. But those dreams aren't too big. Our challenges are real, but our dreams and our strengths are bigger. So let's work together. Let's continue to seize all these opportunities that have made Seattle great and will make it greater. And let's not shirk from these challenges. Many of them are years in the making, and they're not easy solutions. There is no microwave answer to some of these problems. But the answer is right here in this room and in rooms just like it all across the city. Together, together with you, I, as your mayor, am ready to fight those challenges. I thank you for the great honor and the ability to do so. Now let's get to work. <laughs> reminded me we have to every day remember the veterans who have served our nation and put themselves in the line and thank you so much for reminding me every time thank you very much